There's going to be a new quarterback under center for week five against the Arizona Cardinals. Joe Flacco is stepping in for the injured Sam Darnold. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, I still have a few more of the Just End the Suffering t-shirts, so if you want to get those, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. We also launched a Flick Chat group, so if you want to talk about the Jets and the game uh, day of, there's a little bit easier of a conversation to be had there than in the YouTube comments. Uh, if you want to see that, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. But let's talk about our new starting quarterback for week five against the Arizona Cardinals. This isn't really surprising to anyone, the way that Sam fell on his shoulder during the Bronco game, that we are going to rest him for a week. We're going to see Joe Flacco as our starting quarterback, which means this is the 17th starting quarterback that the Jets have trotted out since the year 2000. If you're wondering what those names are, Testaverde, Pennington, Carter, Bollinger, <laughs> Clemens, Favre, Sanchez, McElroy, Smith, Vic, Fitzpatrick, Petty, McCown, Darnold, Simeon, Falk, and now Flacco. So that's a, a laundry list of names. Not great if you're a New York Jet fan. And especially bad because the rest of the injury report came out and it looks like Bless Austin, Mekhi Becton, Jordan Jenkins, Brashad Perriman, Denzel Mims, none of these guys are going to be playing in this week's game. So... As a fan, <laughs> what am I looking for? Oh, I just want to see like some type of of excitement. If I'm not getting Makai Becton, I don't get to watch him throw people around. I don't get to see Denzel Mims yet. I don't get to see, you know, Perriman or or even like Bell or any of these guys. Like all these players it's frustrating. I'm trying not to like get overly emotional because I know it's not gonna help this season. <laughs> it's basically a lost cause. I if you're wondering right now, the Jets are currently sitting in the third overall pick. Uh, there's four teams currently with no wins. The Jets have one of the better strength of schedules, so it actually knocks us back a little bit. Giants would be picking first right now. Um, if the Jets were to win this game, they could fall back as far as the 12th pick. Um, I know, crazy. Definitely nuts. Now, that being said, I don't expect us to win this game. Definitely not. I think Kyler Murray is probably going to run all over us. But what could you possibly be looking at for this game just to have some sort of excitement for me i think i'm looking at quinn and williams i'm going to see if i can watch him develop a little bit more i also want to see i just want to see flacco sort of run the offense i want to see if maybe what adam gase has been calling as much as i like don't agree with a lot of his play calls sam has been missing some open wide receivers and maybe with flacco there maybe he pulls the trigger and the team actually looks a little bit better now the worst thing that could possibly happen is that flacco comes in and wins a you know a meaningless game and knocks us out of contention for the uh, potential number one overall pick but i don't know that's my thoughts what do you guys think about flacco starting let me know in the comments down below and as always go jets yeah!